All right. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm one minute late. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So how's everybody doing today? Happy Thursday. What's up, Rodney? Hey, Zach. What's up, Skills? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can always tell when I'm late for a stream if I'm like kind of out of breath when I get to it because I'm like just running. <laughs> You should see how bad it looks, probably. It's just, like, running as fast as I can up the stairs. I gotta get do some math! <laughs> well, dude, I actually, like, as late as this is gonna be... What's up, Saggy? Good to have you in your old account. Old account. Uh, what's up, Gray? Gray Grenade. Venna's in the house. Nice. Do you have to memorize cube roots? It's not a bad idea, but really, only memorize cube roots up until 9. Because... I mean, beyond that, it's just kind of crazy. I don't think they'd test it. And more likely, they're just, just to test cube roots and how they work with exponents. So just make sure you know what they are. Yeah, Phoenix, where were you, bro? We missed you. Okay, so this is actually going to be as like unprepared as I am normally. I'm actually extremely well prepared today. Um, or, <laughs> you know, I say that now, but I probably won't be. But I think I'm pretty well prepared today. Um, I've got some problems that I want us to do, and these problems are actually um, problems that we've done in the stream before, but problems that cause us to have redemption because so many people get it wrong. So I went back through all my previous streams, not all of them, but I went back through a lot of my previous streams, and I found questions that were pretty difficult and that most people either got wrong or a lot of people got wrong. So I've mixed them in with easier problems. <laughs> yeah, Wiz, I actually prepped. So yeah, that's how that works. Um, so yeah, there, there's not going to be any ELA today, April. Sorry. Um, just because I was mostly, I'm mostly doing math on this, on the streams. And so most of the questions that a lot of people got wrong were um, math questions. So yeah, I'm not going to show you the questions, but like, look how many, look how many. Look how many problems I have for us to do today. So we're just going to be grinding. Um, what type of dog is that in the thumbnail? Dude, I have no idea. I, like, was so late. I just, like, I have, like, a bunch of pictures on my desktop that I eventually want to Photoshop. But that's just the raw photo. I was just like, I'm too late. Blah. And so I just made it. I probably could have done something small. But I was also eating a sandwich. So, you know, you guys can relate to that. <laughs> okay. So how do I get started, I guess? Um, oh, what's up, Genesis? Yeah, okay, I think everybody's here. So, we're going to grind today, dudes. Get ready. And also keep in mind, let me actually shuffle these problems because I had them in uh, ranking from easiest to hardest, but I I'm going to shuffle them. Okay. Okay, throw one in there. I'm going to throw one in here. Okay. There we go. All right, Jay, we're starting, bro. <laughs> okay like dude normally like normally it's like seven minutes in when i'm not prepared but i actually am prepared today so uh hold on let me just turn i'm listening to some music i just need to turn it down a little bit uh, sorry perfect okay so let's do this oh i can only just turn on my volume on my computer Duh. all right first question let's go Oh, what's up, Shot? No, not Subway, Rachel. Like, straight up, just sandwich I made from stuff in the fridge. Uh, Yeah, we could use that thumbnail. I, I just need to resize it. That's why I couldn't just use it straight up today. No, I don't know what that is. I think it's just a mutt. Oh, that's a shame. Oh yeah, we're going to be running the gamut today, Shad. There's going to be a lot of questions in different areas. I'm pushing. What's up, April? Is 
Saggy. Henry? Skills, Rachel, introvert, geek, dope. Okay. Give you guys like 15 more seconds. April. Jay. Jay got 12. Badmon. Yeah, Jane, that's what's up. That's exactly it. Yeah, okay, cool. So let's go over this because we do have a lot of problems today. So I'm going to keep you on a crisp timeline. So what we're dealing with is two sets of similar right triangles because they share two angle measurements. They're going to share the third. So this whole thing is going to be 34. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. The, this whole thing is going to be 30. And this is actually a 3, 4, 5 triangle times 6. So this will be 3 times 6 or 18 total. That's 4 times 6, 24. That's 5 times 6, 30. So we know that this whole thing is 18. So that 18 minus 6 is 12. So now we could just do the Pythagor or Pythagorean theorem or 3, 4, 5, because this is now a 3, 4, 5 triangle divide or times 4. Because it says 5 times 4, 3 times 4. So 4 times 4, bang. Good job. Like I said, I'm actually ready today, so you guys be your, get ready to grind. How many different ways can we select two men and two women from a group of four men and five women? Yeah, introvert, you can set up a proportion as well. Yeah, totally. What's up, Sports Show? Good to have you back, man. Yeah, Ashley, it's happening. Prepare yourself mentally, emotionally, physically. Saggy got 60. Okay. Anybody else? J Moon got four. Vena. <laughs> if I don't think about it, it doesn't exist. Yeah, that's funny, Saggy. Ah. Uh, nine one nine. Oh, I'm at a hundred nine hundred nineteen. Oh yeah, skills. April. Uh, Badmon got seven twenty. Sixteen or sixty, Jay. You gonna have to decide, Jane. Uh, Rachel. <laughs> Genesis. Nice. Yeah, I only take the first answer you you put in. Gray. Introvert. Sport show. <laughs> yeah, it's just to encourage. Uh, the, I only take the first answer. You're right. Just to encourage you to be super confident once you put your answer. You can't like put it and then think about it and think some more. You got to like stick it and rip it. All right. <clears throat> All right, cool. Let's go over this. That was really good. Um, keep in mind, all of these are problems from previous streams where a lot of people got them wrong. Guys, remember the combination. You do a normal permutation, and then you divide it by the factorial of how many you're picking. So 
two men, two women. So we got um, to pick the two men out of the four. We could pick four for the first spot, three for the second spot, and then we divide that by two. And so two factorial, but that's two times one, so who cares? So that's going to be 12 over two. That's going to be six com different combinations of groups for the dudes. For the chicks, it's five times four over two. So that's going to be 20 over two, or that's going to be 10. So we have six potential groups for the dudes, six potential groups for the girls. So for every one of these six groups, we could have potentially 10 other combinations for the girls. So that's why we're going to get our 60. Nice. And I just did a video of, um, you better, <laughs> I will. Okay, so next one. There are red and blue marbles. The probability of randomly selecting a blue marble is one third. If there are 12 red marbles, how many marbles are there total? <laughs> yeah, I could do that. Uh, yeah, April, I made a permutation and combination video. If you're still confused, you can go and watch that because I, I think it's a pretty solid video. Yeah, studies a little bit about <laughs> gray skills, April. Dude, you guys used to have problems with this. This is so good to see. Wiz, I saw that, bro. I saw that. <laughs> Geek. Uh, <laughs> no, I will not delete. Yes, Aggie. Badmon, 18. Nice. Phoenix, Shod. Dude, this is like the redemption of your whole, this is like your redemption arc. What do they call that? Yeah, I think it's your redemption arc. Because you guys had gotten these wrong in the past, and now you're getting them right, which is so good, dude. That's so good. Okay, so Phoenix, I got you, bro. Nice. Dude, yes. That's so good. I think study is like a minute behind in the stream. <laughs> and <w> <laughs> Wiz put the answer out, then deleted it in like one second, but I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, I got you, study. No sweat. Uh, crunchy. Nice. Okay, good, dude. That's so solid. Good job, dudes. All right, so let's go over this one just because everybody seems really. Uh, yeah, ex yeah, that's actually pretty true, April. Um, yeah, it's okay, Pokar. It's all good. All right, so let's go through this. Red, blue, marbles. Probability of selecting blue marbles is thir one third. There are 12 red marbles. So that means 12 red marbles is two thirds of the bag, right? So, because two thirds of the bag is red and two thirds of the bag is 12. So 12 is two thirds of the bag. So I'm gonna times by three, by three to get rid of that three. So 36 equals twice the amount that's in the bag, divide by two, divide by two, 18 equals the bag. Dude, good job, guys. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. BG and Yano are sitting on a bench eating Skittles. BG has four times as many Skittles as Yano. If BG gives Yano 22 Skittles, then Yano would have eight more Skittles than BG. How many Skittles did BG have originally? What's up, Andrew? Welcome back, dude.
Ashley got 120. You're more of an M&M person? Dude, that's ridiculous. Skittles are where it's at. Like, if the world, like, economy crashes, people are going to be buying things in Skittles. So, just know that. <laughs> Sports show? Genesis? Go ahead, start your M and M army. They're gonna desert. They're gonna desert you because I'll be paying them in Skittles. I'll be like, "Hey, don't fight for her. I got Skittles over here, bros." Wow, this is a hard one, I guess. People seem kind of stumped on this one. Shot. Badman. I'll give you guys like thirty thirty more seconds on this one. Oh, maybe we should go over this. Zach. <laughs> okay, that's enough time. Wow. Dude, I think I actually stumped the chat. I think it actually happened. Wow. Wow. Okay, so now people are coming out with 48 really hard. Okay, 48, we got uh, Andrew, we got uh, Tammy, Rachel, um, yeah, skills has got 56 divided by 3, wow, 69.333 um, repeating, <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah you did twice i got it wrong all right so let's let's go through how to do this one because i'm like shocked that you guys got so different answers well i'm not shocked because these are all from really hard problems that people got wrong from before all right so bg and um yano sitting on a bench bg has four times as many skittles as yano and that means bg has four times as many skittles as yano bg gives yano 22 skittles that means bg is getting rid of 22 skittles and that means Yano gets 22 Skittles. And now the relationship is that Yano has eight more. So that means BG needs eight more to be equal to Yano. Okay. So now we have our systems of equations. I'm just going to clean up this equation really quick. So it would be, um, don't be dumb. You can do this. 14 <laughs> equals Y plus 22. Okay, cool. Um, so now we can sub in. Every time we see a B, we can... Uh, well, every time we see a B, we can sub in a 4Y. Minus the Y, minus the Y. 3Y minus 14. Can you see this? Yep. Equals 22. Now we're going to add 14 to each side. Add 14 to each side. That's going to be a 6 and a 3. So 3Y equals 36. Divide by 3, divide by 3. Y equals 12. That's how much Yano has originally. And so BG is going to have four times as many as Yano, right? So we can do that 12 times four. Dude, late, but not bad. Really, really nice. <laughs> really, really good. Dude, yeah, it's 48. Wow. Totally. Wow. How did you guys get 120? That's a good question. Ah, uh, you pushed plus eight. I uh, got it. Got it. Yeah, it was 48. Wow. Okay, we're going to have to work more on age game problems. System of equation problems. Um, okay, good job, everybody. Good job, Rachel, Tammy, Andrew. On point. Whoever else got 48, good job. All right. <laughs> you ready for another hard one? Here we go. Can't stop, won't stop, dude. This is the stream. 
if x over x plus y is equal to point x x x x repeating, what is a possible value for y? <laughs> Actually, would that work out? Hold on. All right, I'm going to change this problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm changing this problem. All right, change the problem. Sorry, I changed the problem because I, I want less available answers. So let me, let me reread this one to you. Okay, cool. If x over x plus y is equal to point x, 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 x repeating, what is a possible value for x plus y? That's what I want to know. This has less correct answers to it. Yeah, that's what's up, Pogar. Yep. Sorry, Yashani, I already got you for nine. April. Phoenix. <laughs> that's funny, Genesis. Uh, Crunchy. Badmon. Yeah, introvert. Yep, April's got it. Totally. Totally, totally, totally. So for you guys, let's go over this. For you guys who got three or like a one third thing going on, keep in mind if you have any number like one divided by three, that's going to equal 0.333, not 0 0.111. The only time you can have a repeating decimal of a number like that is if it's divided by nine. For example, two divided by nine equals 0.2222. How do I know that? Well, you can do the long division. 2 divided by 9, and that's got to be a 20. That goes in twice. 18, 2, bring down a 0. 18, bring down 2, bring down a 0. See, it'll just keep going forever. So in order for it to be repeating of the numerator, this denominator has to equal 9. Yeah, that's how this one goes down. Gray, you got it too. OK, cool. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, so let's do it. Don't forget to leave a like, smash that like button if you haven't already. Smash your like button if you like the fact that I actually did prep today. <laughs> what is the area of this triangle? Yeah, you can also think of it like that, April. That's decent. That's kind of complicated, complicated. But if you can think of it like that, you can. Yeah. All right. So what is one third equals point three three three? And I wanted the numerator to be the same as what the decimal repeats. And so I would want point one 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 from one third, not point three 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 three. Four x squared red two. Okay. All right, introvert. I don't know if you guys were here yesterday. We actually did this yesterday. All right, welcome back, Jay. Saggy. April. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Pokar. <laughs> Crunchy, I got you. Pokar just retracted a bunch of his messages. Yeah, yeah, I got you, dude. But sorry. Rules are rules, bruh. I'm just kidding. I, I know in your heart what you meant. Rodney. Moise. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll give you guys like 15 more seconds. Let's get it. Genesis. Yeah, we did this yesterday, Pokar. Ishani, you're getting a redemption of yesterday, but that's what I was doing it. Yeah, okay, that's enough time. All right, let's go through it. That's about as much time as you should get, dude. So if you're going through a question and, and it takes a little bit longer than that, then you should just abandon ship at that point. All right, Tammy, I see you. Okay, cool. So let's go through this. Now, 60-60, we know that that's going to be 60 up in there. We're dealing with an equilateral triangle, dudes, and that's going to be 4x as well. Okay? So since we're dealing with an equilateral triangle, <coughs> excuse me, when we drop down a height like this, make a right triangle, we know that this is going to be 2x and this is going to be 2x. Here we go. 30. We got a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So this is x, x rad 3, 2x, and that works out. Now, I'm going to do the Pythagorean theorem just for the people who are just like, oh, I don't remember the triangles. That's fine. Uh, 2x squared plus b squared equals 4x squared. Notice my parentheses because this squared has to go to both things. So 4x squared plus b squared equals 16x squared. I'm going to subtract that 4x squared from each side. So b squared equals 12x squared. Take the square root of both those dudes. That x squared is fine now. So we get b equals x times the square root of 12. Now we got to be a little sneaky here because um, we can simplify that. Um, the 12, if you guys remember, is 3 and 4. That's a perfect square. So I could write this. Hold up. x times 3 times 4. Take the square root of 4 and you're going to get 2x rad 3 aka 2x, 2x rad 3, and yeah. So that's our height, 2x rad 3. Our base is 4x, our height is that. So remember, 1 half base height, that's going to be 1 half our base, which is 4x, and our height, which is 2x rad 3. This is going to be 2x, just getting into that half there. Okay? And so what the result of this is, is 4x squared rad 3. That's what's up. Good job, everybody. Really nice. What's up, Anisha? Yeah. Yeah, dude, yeah. Good job, Wiz. Okay, cool. Let's do another one. Um, uh, let me just make sure everybody's on the same page here. We're all good to go. Yeah. All right, cool. Dude, we still have a lot more problems to do, and we're already halfway through. So this one threw you guys so badly last time. I'm excited to see how you do now. Between four and eight inclusively, how many numbers are multiples of either four or seven, but not both? Oh no, Andrew. <laughs> You're just gonna have to write on your arm, bro. Uh yes you can, Wiz. Yep. Absolutely, bro. If I mean, but that's real nice. Like I don't even teach my SAT students that. Yep. I've told you guys I'm gonna challenge you today. We are not messing around.
Well, it's okay if you don't have the formula. You can just go for it. There's not that many numbers. <laughs> Wiz already gave up. <laughs> Henry's still grinding. Appreciate that. That's nice, bro. Skills. Phoenix got nine. Phoenix. Wiz gave up. Rachel got nine. Very nice. Uh, 27 got April. Okay. Ooh. Dude, it was so fun to like go back to the stream, my earlier streams, and be like, oh man, like a lot of the same OGs are from like two months ago are from here. Uh, Phoenix, I got you, dude. Um, skills, geek, geek. Okay. J Moon's got 30. Got you, Jay. Um, Pokegar's got 29. <laughs> no for april that is not a good sign although we've had it before where only one person got it right and i think that was you april actually that like got the right answer um yeah you are special april <laughs> that's funny genesis yeah yeah april you're so special uh shani you got 29 too okay okay i'll give you guys like 20 more seconds Rodney got 27. All right, you got some company, April. There we go. Saggy got 27. Tammy got 27. Okay. Nice. Yep. Yep, that's it. It's shiny. Okay, let's go over this one. So I'm going to go over this one the dumb way because I like doing things the dumb way. Okay, so I'm going to list multiples of four going to uh, 80 okay so we have 4 8 12 16 20 24 28 32 36 40 44 48 52 56 60 64 68 72 76 80 so we have a bunch for multiples of four but now we need to do multiples of 7. So 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, and 77. Okay, so we can count them all up, but first I'm going to eliminate the ones that appear twice because you're not allowed to appear twice. That's kind of like the vibe that they're giving. Um, you did multiples of four and seven. Ooh, Rachel BTFO'd. Um, all right, so let's cross them out. Uh, 21, 14, nope, 28. 35, nope, 42, nope, 49, nope, 56. 63, nope, 70, nope, 77, nope. So now we're just counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. <laughs> Boom. Nicely done. And for those of you who picked 29, for those of you who picked 29, you might have forgotten to get rid of these. Okay, these two. So that's how you ended up with 29. So yeah, that's how this one goes down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up, Rachel? No. <laughs> Is there a faster way? Uh, probably, but I'm more con I'm more concerned on accuracy. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice, everybody. Okay. All right, here's another one that, you, wait, what is this? Find all the multiples of four, which is 20, all multiples of seven, which is 10. The total is 30, and you subtract the amount of integers that 28 has, which is three. The amount of integers 28 has? What do you mean integers 28 has? Um, yeah, a lot of interesting ways to do this. Wow, that's kind of cool, man, I'm about it. All right, next, remember to smash that like button if you, uh, like these prep streams. I mean, I'm not, I'm still experimenting on what would be best. 
Um, so if you want to do more like this. All right, cool. So we have two triangles up in here. Uh, four answer choices. This is a two because I was I didn't want to redo it. Two, three, four, and unable to define. Let's go. Yeah, for real, Rachel. That's okay. You guys are normally pretty right on stuff. We use the same pens? Dude, Jay, I love these pens, dude. These are like my favorite. Henry, Rodney, Tammy, Skills, Saggy. Yeah, Genesis, here we go. Introvert. Jane. Nice. Phoenix. Nice. April. Okay. Andrew. Yes, Eggy. <laughs> That's the truth, bro. Uh, Andrew. Okay. Uh, Laurel. You can't see me writing your names, but I am. D for dinosaur. Gray. Good. Shod. Nice. Dude, nice. J. Nice. Oh, really? Are you really far behind, Rachel? It stinks. A whole minute? Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Watch it be E. Well, there is no E, bro. F, score show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go over this one because everybody is absolutely dominating it. Uh, Rachel's got D2. Okay, very nice. All right, dudes, so check it out. Um, this is a trick question, but you guys did not fall for it this time. The first time, so many people fell for it and picked two, but you guys did not fall for it, right? Because this is trying to convince you that these are similar shapes and that this eight goes with this four and the six goes with this X. But notice... The four is to the right of the 50 degree angle. We don't have anything to the right of the 50 degree angle. And who's to say these triangles are even similar? Because this could be 40 and this could be 90. We don't know. I mean, it's not drawn to scale. And since they don't tell us the angle measurements, we have no way to decide if these are similar or not. So, yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's how this one goes down um yeah so this is these are not similar shapes and because they're not similar shapes and it's not a right triangle it's not an isosceles triangle it's not an equilateral triangle that we know of the answer is d really nice dudes you guys are like redeeming your summer work it's like very inspirational okay we got to mix them in they're not all these crazy advanced let's go Um, no, I don't, Pokar, I don't know the answers as I'm doing it. I mean, for the most part, like, I I don't know what the answer is going to be. So when I'm writing down your answers, I have no idea what um, what the right answer is. <laughs> I'm pretty hyped, Spore Show, actually. My team is trash, though. This is a problem. 1,540 times 14,014 over 77. So here I am. I'm just testing your ability to do crazy division and multiplication. Anisha. Very nice. Ishani. Yeah, you could do that, too. You can do that, too. Badman. I, dude, you were cracking me up with that uh, thumbnail you sent. Pokar? Laurel? Tasman? Jane? Zach? Henry's got three, six, four, zero. 
FHA. Shot. Skills. Introvert. Yeah, I'm sure people did use calculator, but I mean, that doesn't really help you. I mean, if you're using the calculator, you, you, you're just gonna, you know, you're not gonna be ready for when the test comes, you know. Laurel, did I put you down twice? I did. <laughs> you're just that special, Laurel. Did you know that? You're that special. Uh, Rachel. Nice, nice, saggy. Yes, so Pokar and I think who else said cross multiply? Yeah, you, c you can do this a lot simply. So that's all the time we have for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this 77 into this, probably the smaller number first, just because it's easy to divide. So I'm going to say this 1540 is divided by 77 first. That's probably going to be a 2. 14, 15, yeah, we're done. So really what we're dealing with is 20 times 14014. Um, yeah, I think, Tammy, you must have gone a little bit wrong somewhere around here. Um, but yeah, we're just doing the multiplication. So I'm going to do that multiplication now. 0, 8, 2, 0, 8, 2. Good job, chat. Never, ever discount how difficult doing things is. So even if it's an easy problem like this, like, yeah, you, you can make a mistake. You can also multiply the top two and then divide by 75. That's fine as well. You're going to get the same answer. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult. But, yeah, you can definitely do this. So, nice. <laughs> okay. All right. What is the area of the shaded region in this beautifully drawn circle? Ah, uh, I see, Tammy. I see. Yep. If that was plus, then that would mean that it's two terms, and the 77 needs to go to each one, like what you did, Tammy. So just keep that in mind. If that's plus, you're good to go. Multiplication, just one term. You go to do the division once. Uh, Pokar, is that an answer, dude? Is that supposed to be a pi or something? Yeah, yep, that happens, Ishani. Like, a lot of people just go, oh, multiplication, division? Nah, no problem. And I used to think that, too, when I used a calculator. But now that I never use a calculator, uh, yeah, it's tough. Just use pi for pi. Just keep it in terms of pi. 16 and 2 thirds pi? Is that what you mean, Henry? Okay, Laurel? Beautiful, thank you, Genesis. <laughs> uh, 50 pi divided by 3. Is that equivalent? Rodney, got you. All right. April. Oh, I think these are equivalent. Yes, they are. Wait, no, they're not. 83.3 pi, Jane and Saggy. Are you guys like sitting next to each other? <laughs> Jay's got 295. Rachel's got this. 250 divided by 3 pi. Is that 83 though? Yeah. Oh, I see, Jay. Yeah. Shod. Do you see why these some of these questions get brought back? Tammy. Ishani. Ah, uh, you found the unshaded region. Laurel, get it together. Phoenix. You like how I played you guys? Played you guys like a fiddle. 
Yeah, introvert. That's what's up. Yeah. Yep. So just know that. Just know that. I'm always trying to trick you guys. <laughs> I've always tried to trick you guys. Skills. Skills. I think that's equivalent, dude. 250 divided by 3 pi. I think that's equivalent to 83. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tammy's Tammy's right. Yep. April Badman. Anisha. <laughs> Pokar. Pokar, you got this you got the same thing as everybody else. Just not reduced. Yeah. Okay, so let's go through this one. So you guys did so good. Nobody did really bad. Everybody did pretty decently here. But the issue is with the shaded or unshaded. That's like where this goes down. So we know that's 60 degrees. So the part is going to be this. And that's 300. So our part is 300 over 360. And we know the whole area because it's pi r squared or pi 10 squared or 100 pi. So that's going to be 100 pi for our whole. What's our part? We don't know. I always simplify before I go down on this. So this will be 5 over 6. Yep. Equals x over 100 pi. So now we do our multiplication. 500 pi equals 6x. Divide both sides by 6 by 6. 500, uh, I can do the division. 500 divided by 6. Um, <laughs> 8, so 48, 2, 0. Nah, I'm just going to reduce this. So that's going to be 250 pi over 3 equals x. So yeah, everybody up in here is correct. Guys, you solved for the unshaded region. You solve for the unshaded region. So really good math work. Really, really lovely stuff, guys. Unshaded region, though. So you just got to watch out because what they ask for is almost as important as how you can get to the answer. Okay. This is kind of interesting because I'm like going through old problems that we've done together and that you guys got wrong in the past and being like, wow, like, I don't know. It's just, it's very interesting to me. Now, here is one that nobody got right when we originally did this. So check it out. AC and BD intersect at E. DE is equal to EC and AE is equal to BE. What is the measure of DBA? Let's go. Seven. <laughs> uh, what's up, Laurel? I am tricky. You watch out, Badman. I'm always trying to trick you guys, but do the as tricky as I am, the SHSA the SHSAT is even trickier. So like, just watch out. Oh, am I really quiet? By the way, I didn't mean to be. Okay, this should be a little bit louder. Sorry about that. Yeah, that should be better. Um, so if you had your volume pulled up, you don't have to have it as high as before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like I sound really weird, but whatever. Okay. You also could just go back into my old streams and look at for this question, and you could get the answer that way, too. Crunchy. April. Okay. Jay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tammy. Yeah. Yeet. Got you, Yeet. 
yeah I, I turned it up a little bit so sorry if that's like blowing andrew too much work <laughs> yeah ishani introvert saggy sports shop Laurel, dude. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. April, I'm like so so happy for you guys. I'm like so proud, Jane. Because the first time we did this problem, not a single person got it. Not a single person, and it was forever ago. But not a single person got it. Rachel, I got you. Wiz, of course. Uh, Wiz is now Zills. <laughs> Sorry, Wiz. I wrote your name backwards, dude. Uh, who else did I do that to? I think Liz I did that to. Phoenix? Yeah, 35 could... <laughs> That'd be funny if 35 was not the answer. Gray? Wow, you guys are so much better. Yay! Yay! Okay, let's let's go through this now because we... Do you like shot? You got it too, bro? Alright, cool, dude. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, people, yeah, are, people are feeling it. it. Yay! Good job, good job, everybody. everybody. Good job, good job to everybody. To everybody. Wow. Wow. What a list, what a of, list of absolute legends. legends. <laughs> yes. 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 yes, yes. Good job, good job guys. guys. Really good, really good job. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pumped, pumped for you. Absolutely, absolutely pumped. pumped. Really, really, really well really done. Well done. Wow. Wow. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Good job, good job. Okay, okay. Wow, wow. What a time to be alive. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. We got static, static. Who even knew? Who even knew? Who absolutely, who absolutely even knew? Even skills, knew. skills. I got you, I got you dude. Wow, wow. What a time, what to, a time, be time to be alive. Absolutely incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Batman, Batman, you, 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 know, know, you know, know I actually have no control, control over, over the static. Over the static. <laughs> <laughs> it just happens, it just happens man. Bad. Like, I, I, I actually, I actually cannot, cannot stop it from happening. happening. And, I and I don't know when it's going to happen. You guys see, I'm like just sitting here. Like, I haven't even touched my microphone. Like, I can do a desk tour or whatever, but like... You guys, I'm not touching my microphone, so I don't know why it's statics like that. I think it's just like a little bit of a celebration. Exactly, Shod. Exactly, Shod. Um, yeah. <laughs> I really can't. I cannot do it. I cannot stop it, guys. That's all I can say. You can re as much as you want. <laughs> but that's like a, uh, that's just a classic. It's just classic. What else can I say? It's just classic. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty much April. Um, okay, cool. So yeah, drop a like if you love that static. If you just, if you come to the stream for that static, definitely drop a like. Um, <laughs> you're Mosifer? Cant cantaloupe? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally cannot control it. <laughs> you noob. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's exactly it, Saggy. Wiz, Saggy. Yep, that that's exactly what it is, bro. What can I say? Um, <laughs> yeah, I really actually can't control it. Hopefully it's stopped because I want to... Oh, there goes my lid. Hopefully it stops because I want to go over this question with you guys. Um, so... We need to, we, whenever you have a diagram like this, and I know you're working on your computer, so even more kudos to you guys for getting this right. But we know AC and BD intersect right here. That's cool. DE is equal to EC. DE, EC. AE is equal to BE. So we know that these two are equal. And the reason why I mark the, the equal ones is so you get to start to get an idea of the shape of the triangles and what type of triangles you're using. So that's 70, this is 70. That's pretty useful. And if this is 70, it's got to be 180 total. So we know that this is 110. So now this comes really into use because we know we're dealing with an iso. Excuse me. I like almost sneezed. You, like we know we're dealing with an isosceles triangle. So that means this angle and this angle have to be the same. So we have like an X here and we have an X here. So 180 minus the 110 that's in there is 70. And that needs to be split up evenly to both of these. So 35 for this, 35 for this. The chat is absolute legendary status. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Dude, last time, not a single person got it right. Not a single person. So, like, the fact that, like, everybody got it right is, like, nice. You guys are learning. You guys are getting better. So, like, that's really, really good. 
Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's go through this one. Rocky was reading a book. He stopped at the very top of page 67 without reading a word on the page. If Rocky is 25% done with the book, how many pages does he have left to read? Another one. <laughs> Henry, you've been speeding through these, man. You might want to even just slow. I, this may be right. You remember this one, Laurel? Yeah. Um, yeah, this was from a while ago. Laurel's definitely an OG for sure. Uh, Tammy. Uh, skills has got 198. Okay, Jay. Oh, you remember this one, Wiz? Yeah, Saggy. You could go back to the video and just look. I use the same numbers. Uh, skills, I got you. Andrew. Yeah. Cool. Got you, bro. April, what? Andrew. Yeet. Phoenix. Um, wow, this is so fast. Anisha. Gray. We got a little bit of a split here. Gray. Uh, introvert. Cool. Oh, you said 268, Jay? My bad. I didn't even see that. 201 from Pokar. Badman. Anisha. Crunchy. I'll give you guys like 15 more seconds. <laughs> yep. Yep. 198 for Wiz. Nice. Yep. <laughs> April's a little off on this one. I'm just playing with you. Uh, 66 pages. Uh, I don't think that's what. Yeah, you already answered. Yep, that's exactly it, introvert. That's the trick that I played. Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to trick you guys. You guys should know that by now. Because the SHSAT isn't a hard test. It's a tricky test. It's, let me say that again. It's not hard. It's tricky. All right. Wiz, I got you, man. Let's do this up. All right. So, guys, like a lot of you guys pointed out in the chat, he didn't read 67 pages. He read 66 pages. Yeah, Saggy, you have learned from your mistakes, which is really legit. Really, really legit. Yeah, Anisha, that may be it. Um, so 66 pages is what he read, and 66 pages is 25%. So notice that 66 is, that means is, equals 66 is 25% of whatever it is. So I'm just going to times this by 4 because I know that that will cancel that out. Um, 66 times 4, 4, 20, 24, 26. 264. So a lot of people stopped there. And I, I noticed that a lot of people stopped at that answer. But whenever you're done with a math question in the SHSAT and you get your number, reread the question before you write down your answer. If Rocky is 25% done with the book, how many pages does he have left to read? So if there's 264 pages total, the dude's already read 66 of them. Um, that is an 8. That's a 9 and a 1. 198. That's what's up. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's do one more. Dude, we, I don't, how many problems have we done today? It's just been like nonstop. Okay, cool. Last one. The ratio of A to B is 3 to 4. If I have 108 A's and I remove 28 B's, what's the new ratio? Yep. 
Yeah, dude, that's real talk, Pokegar. Because going into the test, you want to be as fresh as possible, dude. Right? Like, you got to be so fresh when you get in. So, <laughs> April, yeah. Um, yeah, so definitely make sure. Uh, definitely make sure that, like, you... <laughs> <laughs> that you uh get your sleep and you get a good breakfast and that you're just feeling really like ready to rock that's like super important oh wait one second can you uh reduce that tammy because they're both even numbers for sure Yeah, you, can you reduce that? Why is no one reducing? <laughs> Thank you. 27 to 29. Who is that? Saggy? 9 to 29 for Jane? Oh, that's kind of weird, Tammy. Um, oh, it's one sixteen. Why y'all? <laughs> yeah, Ishani, you guys are so lazy. Uh, um, forty-seven to twenty-nine. Twenty-seven to twenty-nine, introvert. I to 29, J. Sports show. <laughs> That's okay, Wiz. Good job, buddy. Shot. <laughs> Ziao. Uh, Laurel. Okay. All right. I'm going to go over this one now. Gray. Phoenix Rodney. Okay, here 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 are the here are the homies Rodney. Uh Okay, let's go over this one. Oh, Badman. Can you reduce that, bro? Uh, Pokar. Okay. Yeah, let's go over this one. Um, how do I want to hit this one first? Uh, all right, I'll write that down, but I, I just don't know if it's reduced. 145. Badman. Okay. Oh, skills. Did I not write your name, bro? What'd you get, dude? And I skipped you too, April. You got 108 to 116. Reduce it. <laughs> you got to reduce it. <laughs> Maybe that's why I didn't write it down. Um, just divide each one by two. What is that? 54 by, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's the same. Okay, so let's go into this one. So A to B is three to four, and you have 108 A's. A's. So A to B is three to four and we have a hundred and eight of the a's and we don't know how much we have the b's so how many times do i need to multiply this ratio for it to get to its unreduced form so 108 divided by three that's three nine one eight six so then i need to multiply this by 36 and this by 36 36 over four 4 20 12 14 so that means there's 144 B. So I'm going to remove 28 of them. That's 6. That's now a 13. 96. No. <laughs> That's a 1. 116. Okay. Yeah, duh. So what we do get is that number everybody's been getting. 118 to 116. Then we need to reduce. So I'm going to divide by 2, divide by 2. This is 54. And that would be 48. 
Nope. That would be uh, 58. 58. Then we can reduce that by 2 one more time. And what we're going to get is 27 to 29. Nice. Good job, bros. Good job. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Good stuff, dude. Very, very, very nice, dude. Um, really, really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Let's see. So, yeah, guys, you have like two months for when the test is going to come. Uh, so just keep that in mind as you're grinding that it's two months. And trust me, that last month is going to be so busy and you're not going to want to have to cram. So stay on the grind now. Uh, yeah, Pokar, I got to get out of here, dude. I have another session in like 25 minutes. So I got to I gotta bounce so I can eat something. Teletuda.com. Dude, definitely subscribe. If you guys are not subscribed, even if you're just lurking in the chat, you're like, I don't really know if I need to study more. Um, definitely drop a sub. I'm trying to get to 1K subs really bad. Um, so yeah, this is the iconic ending. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah, except for Sports Show. He's got a year. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely hit that up. Guys, if you have any questions, Bang. Hit me up. You guys, I got you. If I definitely recognize it, your guys' name or whatever, I'm totally down. Um, but really good job, dudes, because those, all of these questions were from the past two months of work together. So, yeah, like, for me, like, the fact that you guys have, like, increased your, your capability so much, it's been, like, really awesome for me to see today. And some of those questions, not a single person got right. And now a bunch of you guys are getting it right. So I'm really, really pumped by that. Uh, I think it's really, really awesome. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's just what's up. So good job today. Really, really good work, basically, is what I'm trying to tell you guys. You've improved, you've been grinding, and now you can see your improvement. So that's super awesome. Um, really nice, dudes. So yeah, definitely drop a sub if you're not subscribed. I'm trying to get to 1K. Uh, we'll have a party stream at 1K. I think I'm probably going to do um, maybe just like a super long super stream, maybe a super super stream uh, if we can get to 1K. Maybe I'll just play PUBG for four hours. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, I got a dip, guys. So really good work today. Really awesome, and I'll be seeing you guys on Friday. Peace.